The readings out there in the YouTube lands and the planet Earth. I tell you, buddy, this is just, I know many of you are seeing it as well. I was listening to some of sister's uh, live streams of late, right? And she's on fire for Jesus. Amen for that, right? But as you and I know, we look around and we look at things like 6.3 million views. Yes, it's am maybe amusing, but 6.3 million views in a month. Okay. 925,000 views. 939,000 views. 609,000 views. Six and a half million views. Okay. But what do Christian pages get? Hardly anything. The Bible speaks of these times and the fallen race been going on, as you know. There are many lukewarm. Lukewarm has many meanings, right? Okay? I advise you to look up lukewarm yourself because indifferent, cold, half hearted, apathetic, you know, unenthusiastic, tepid, uninterested, uh, impassive, lackadaisical, you know, couldn't care less attitude, and not move it with God. He wants those that are willing to stand tall in faith for Him. Many are out there going about a lukewarm lifestyle, a foot in both worlds. He does not like that. God is asking for hot, but many are giving him lukewarm iced tea. Barely above freezing, but he asked for a hot cup of tea, and this is what he got. Many of you, it's not too late to warm up. Stoke those fires of faith and hope. Because really, when God says, you know, he would rather have you cold or hot. But since you're neither, he'll spew you out of his mouth. Lukewarm ain't cool with God. Is it really worth those little worldly things that you're doing to offend God? Many claim to be Christians, but they're wearing skimpy, revealing clothing, inspiring lustful thoughts, and all manner of debauchery. All manner of abomination is going on. Just waving the Bible once a week, don't cut it with God. Call upon his name to be saved. Yes, you have to have faith in him. So many think, oh, I'll do what I want, and at the end I'll, I'll call on his name and I'll be saved. It don't work that way. It don't, brothers and sisters, as you know. You know that's in the hearts and minds of people. And if you're planning on scamming them, it ain't going to work. It's got to be the real deal. you got to mean it from the heart. And if you don't, too bad, too sad, you're going to ride the slide. It's the way it is. Because nobody's going to pull the rug out from my God. Nobody's going to pull the wool over his eyes. It ain't going to happen. He sees everything, he knows everything, he hears everything. He knows your thoughts, he knows what's in your heart. God said you can either speak life or death. The choice is yours, but death comes with a bill. You speak death, you can expect a bill for it. But when many of you are offering him lukewarm iced tea, when he asks for a cup of tea, and you're wondering why your prayers aren't answered, if God says, you turn your back on me, and I turn my back on you. Many of these days are just asking God for things. Oh, you got a car that works. you got a nice house. There's a roof over your head. Oh, I want a bigger house. I want a better car. I want this. I want that. That is a candy store. That is your ATM. And it's so sad. I, I've had so many people ask for money. I, I, one lady said, oh, you, 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 God heals this. And I go, yes. He lay hands on this. And we're healed. Yes. He goes, well, can he, can he heal my pocket? She wants her wallet, which so you can have things, brothers and sisters, things. Right? What good to own the whole world if it costs you your soul? Get right with God. Right? The only chance you've got, repent of your sins as in saying sorry. Look at these views. Right? Everything else gets a view. It's a message from God who loves you very much, who gave his only son to die for you. Think about that. You're alive because Jesus paid the ultimate price. So you could be here right now listening and have a choice to either be with him or with Satan. Because the wise who read their Bible, study themselves, know that Satan comes first. While the foolish virgin is going to run to him when he claims that God thinks that their temple is going up, brothers and sisters, any day now. Keep an eye on it. Because the minute it starts going up, it won't take long to go up at all. It's prefab. A couple of days is put together. They've already got the foundations down anyway. It'll go up in no time. And the inside doesn't matter. Because none of us are going to be getting in there anyway. But once that outside is, if you know there's going to be a crowd watching it go up, you know there's going to be a crowd 
watching it, walking around that thing real soon. Be ready. Be ready. In my life.